provide mm -hmm. help. Every year, the estate makes millions so. you, and millions you, of dollars. I this, have no idea. This, I, I don't know. This movie is going mean, to make millions of dollars. Yes. It, does any of that go to you or the family? Or where's it? Where's all the money? Where is it going? I'm where gonna, is you it? Know, I want to ask you. Carol, <laughs> yes, show me the money. Do you know where the money is? I mean, yeah. That's yeah, you know. That's, all right. That's what it is. You know? All right. Well, we have now Amazon.com, the whole I, deal. I, love you. I got you, man. I got, I got you. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Let's hear it right now. Okay. Get, get us out of right. here. It's baby, baby, baby. Oh, man, I love it, man. All I right. just watched the show as a kid in New <laughs> Brunswick, New Jersey. So I, I, I love it. I'm, I'm glad you had me here. Yeah, we're really, happy to have really. you. Uh, Lisa Mateo, why don't we go over to you? You got it, guys. In a con Surprise that this happened. On the other hand, it means that perhaps dozens more people may have been exposed. Wow. Mm. Okay, we'll, keep, we'll stay posted. Dr. Max, thank you. you and we have much more information on Ebola on our website. That includes facts about the disease, travel tips, and safety information. Just head over to cbsnewyork.com. Ebola, among the many reasons for a, a reality TV show, but this time, Joe Judice loses his figure out a motive behind a violent tour bus attack. Is there a dish you'd like Tony and Stephanie to make? Tell us about it on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash cbsnewyork. Nothing not to like. Mm -hmm. Up next here at 5, a child's plea for peace takes an ironic turn. Naeem is one of several students who gather regularly at the hub in Newark. It stands for Help Us Be Better. Well, classes will resume. Dolan weighed in today on a Vatican report that seems to shift the church's position on homosexuality and divorce. Dolan says the draft needs major revisions. CBS 2's Mary Calvi reports. As an official state snack, yogurt, citing the hundreds of jobs yogurt production has created upstate, Governor Cuomo signed a bill into law today recognizing the food. New York is the nation's top yogurt producer, making 741 million pounds of it last year. The idea of making yogurt the state's official snack, well, it came from a fourth grade class in western New York. And I'm keeping them in business myself. Are you? Tons I'm a big of yogurt it. person, but it's the official snack, so I should it's get on official. board. It's official. You should get with the program. All right. It's good for you. <laughs> All right. In just a moment here at 5, it claims the lives of children every single day. Could new legislation bring answers to the mystery behind SIDS? Plus, a growing concern for parents. Experts say it's almost never too early to have these conversations with your kids. They also say it should be a huge red flag if a child is sexting before they're in high school. And that is all for the News at 5. I'll see you again at 11. The News at 6 starts right now. We found out Guardians of the Galaxy 2 will be released in 2017. George will have more with the cast coming up, but we got the scoop about a ton of other movies while we were in San Diego for the biggest pop culture event of the year. There's a Jessica Alba Wax figure around here somewhere. She was the winner of the Young Hollywood Award for Superstar of Tomorrow back in 2005. Who are this year's winners? OTRC's Carl Schmid finds out. The young More news to come, including our interviews with the entire cast of the new Avengers movie at Comic-Con. Stay with us. Back to On the Red Carpet from Madame Tussauds Hollywood. From big screen legends to pop stars and superheroes, you can get up close to so many famous faces here, including Marvel's The Avengers. Well, we got up close to these guys at Comic-Con. Check it out. And this aren't the only big stars to see here at Madame Tussauds. Here's Penelope Cruz and Miss Fatner as Captain Kirk is a permanent fixture here at Madame Tussauds. Over the weekend, the real William Shatner was at Comic-Con, and he wasn't the only television star there. TV shows, are you hungry? How about a box of chocolates with Forrest Gump? Because <laughs> you might be hungry after these stories. Get Madame Tussauds Hollywood, we just found Vin Diesel complete with his signature shaved head and big biceps. <laughs> but George says he's just one of the stars of the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie who you may not recognize right away. Hmm. So more like his usual self in Fast and Furious 7 out next year. We'll be right back. So much for joining us this week, and thank you to everyone here at Madame Tussauds Hollywood. There's so much more to see here, so to find out more about visiting, just go to MadameTussauds.com. Next week, cow time on the red carpet. 40% de lluvia en una temperatura máxima de 90 grados. Chicago también tiene lluvias en un 30% una temperatura máxima de 58. Otras temperaturas que esperamos para el día de hoy, Nueva York 70, Miami 86, un día mayormente nublado para Miami, San Francisco 80 y Los Ángeles. Neblina en las horas de la mañana va a ir despejando lentamente hacia las horas de la tarde, una temperatura máxima de 90. Quiero que me sigan enviando sus frases del día, aquí las compartimos, nos suben el ánimo también aquí, arroba Jimena Córdoba. Así que continuamos con...
Winnie, continúa tú. A la una, a las dos y a las tres. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Everybody is okay, Hello. by the way. Hello. Thank And congratulations on the... It's whimsical. Your character even takes off, takes becomes an animation thing and takes flight. Yeah. You're an animator in it, right? Yeah, yes, I am. I have to say that clip makes it look like you kill my... There's loads more stuff to know. <laughs> you know what's great about this? Is, this is the age-old question. Can a man and a woman just be very, very good friends? He has a boyfriend, and then I kind of... I see why you were both very, very drawn to this movie. It's an independent mm -hmm. film, right? Yeah. 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 And, and you are known for your... The, your with your father, right? Not your grandfather. Was grandfather. Grand, why? I mean, you're offered blockbusters. What? Is, why do you take a little movie like this that you hope people are going to yep. see? Yeah, um, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You uh, can it's so well, charming. Your character, I love. There's something you are. So, you have the best timing in this. When you <laughs> deliver a line, tell yeah. us about what gets in your head when you're playing your character, Zoe. Man, I don't know. You know. <laughs> What if? Hit this. That's my favorite. Tickets. That's my favorite moment. Let's rerun that. Uh, all right. Um, you are both Thank adorable. You. What can I say? Look how red Look how many. Look, I know. Totally. It's, it's, it's your birthday, birthday, and we made you a gift you in the green it? room. Just to, like, further this theme. <laughs> um, so, yeah. There's lots of stuff, because that's what else does a girl want. Right? Donuts. The girl wants donuts. Oh, and my gosh. And whatever those other balls are. Oh, to have that I've heard about Zoe today. <laughs> We're minutes away from a surprise. EMT. Oh, EMT. Oh. Oh. Hey, ladies. You look like you swallowed the proverbial <laughs> mouse. What's yes. going on? Out. A remix of this song, a big hit of theirs. They put out um, a, a remix of the song and changed the a crunchy little number. So, what? Wait, does what she say? What's moving. your take on what? Well, went I down think. You know what, though? I cannot imagine sitting there and watching my sister beat up on my husband and not jump in if something wasn't amiss. Oh, there's and definitely now, some. Unless there was a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> I hate <laughs> Don't worry, you'll oh. forget that within a couple of days. This is a lovely story. She's so pregnant again. That's Alicia nice. Keys. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, she's a lovely girl. All right. Yeah. Christina Aguilera went all the way. She certainly did. Oh, she oh, looks so beautiful. Beautiful. She Christina, does. you can't say she's not subtle. So, Christina, what about the hottest couple on the planet? Who? Sophia Vergara. Frank doesn't want to be talked about. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> After Frank, you know this how we feel. Together. together, there they are. It's you didn't all... hire actors to play no. with. No, no, it's it's we are all of our ourselves. team. It's how our do you crew. Sing? It's... How's your singing? Tona? I checked the talent pool and it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Regis, <laughs> we do have a big surprise that we discovered yes. in the talent pool, oh, oh. and Regis is the guest star on it, wow. and it's very it's be funny. Is Matt a singer? No. <laughs> You'll have to. Matt yes, he is. No, Matt likes Eminem. And Matt not your is a singer. terrific actor. All right. All right. <laughs> Rob <laughs> has secrets, secret stew. <laughs> Reporter Kelly, Kelly Grant. Grant. Hi, Kelly. Uh, how awesome, by the way, is Lisa? Doesn't oh, that fabulous. just you know, just huge smiles yeah. for her whole story? And it seems when are like we going. Yes. yes, that's what we all think. But before you do decide to embark on something like this, you really do have to, I guess, think, think about it through. It, yeah, in a practical <laughs> way, right? Well, certainly, there are a lot of practical financial issues that you'd want to think about. But really, this is not as far out of reach as you might think. Uh, particularly if you are retired or you weren't necessarily looking to work abroad. You're really just looking at your cost of living here versus there. Oh, if you have the means. If you have the means, but you know, even then, you know, your financial advisor usually recommends you have three to six months worth of living expenses saved up as sort of an emergency fund for moving abroad. You might want to have sort of solidly in that like six to maybe even twelve I would think months a worth. Year, wouldn't yeah. you? Because insurance is different over there, isn't it? Isn't that a huge? It component? is, but you know, for a lot of the countries where you might be moving toward, they do have a universal health care system in even place. Even if you're not an American citizen? It, I mean, even, if you're an American? Even if you're an American, if you are paying taxes there, then mm -hmm. a lot of times you are buying into their local health care. You might just want a supplemental policy, and there are a lot of services that specialize in policies for expats, so they're, it's not as tough as you might think. Okay, so she did not give up her citizenship at all. She just she just went, went to, to and, live for. And trying to find out the cost of living in certain countries, you've got to really explore that because it may look great. You may have a great week there, and then when you realize how much everything costs, you yeah. find yourself she was playing in for trouble. a hotel instead of yeah. living expenses. Yeah, yeah. And, and there are some good resources there. There's a great site called Numbio where they actually ask the locals to put in sort of crowdsource the prices there, oh. and you can see. And there's uh, the oanda.com, and that will help you figure out currency conversion. I mean, the dollar is doing pretty well. 
well compared to some of these other currencies where you might have a little more buying power, actually. Mm -hmm. So you can use like your Social Security money over there if you want it. You can do you whatever. Just get your checks delivered yeah. there. Huh? Oh, well, ideally, you want to keep a bank account here okay. because when you're dealing with international mail, then you've right. got the hold that the right. bank puts on a foreign check. You want to be able to access the account electronically from here. Exactly. Right. And in most cases, you can still get your Social Security abroad. You just want to check, of course, before you leave. Uh, and then it's better to have it direct deposited here, easier access. By the way, I like what you said that it's not as far out of reach as we might think, but thanks. That's it great. Seems great advice. So great to find out. Yeah. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thanks a lot. And we're going to do these two more days, right? We are. So okay. For more inspiring stories from the 50 over 50 list, our collaboration with HuffPo 50, head to KLG and Hoda.com. All right, we're taking our own trip now down memory lane back to 1964. I that year. As we count down to Hoda's big day right after this. We can leave the night on. We can leave the night on. As we celebrate Hoda hitting, now I did not write this. What? The half century mark. Stop but century. it is accurate. We thought it'd be fun to flash back to all the great things that came out of the year she was born. 1964, what a year. Oh, the tape to show you how much everybody loves you. What a great thing. That was so beautiful. Yeah, Elle made that or put that together. Yeah. So thanks and thanks, Catherine. Love, love your you, kind sweetheart. words. Love, love you to too. pieces. Oh. And even, even Hoda loved, I mean, Aregis loves his Coda. Coda! <laughs> oh. We'll be back in a moment. But first, this is today on NBC. It's going to be big tomorrow. Kenny Loggins and the Blue Sky Riders are here, and I'm going to check something off my bucket list. Kathy Leonard are singing backup. Uh-huh. Plus a little choreography. Uh -huh. Plus Bobby Thomas shares a very personal story about her struggles oh. with fertility. It's an amazing story. And we're going to answer your burning relationship questions. Our guys tell all. Love those guys. So, everybody, you know what? what? We insist that you have an awesome fun Monday. Monday. And, but save a little energy, because tomorrow we need you desperately for Booze Day Tuesday. Nice talking to you. Bye. Yes, Scully. Yes. No, the truth is in the book, which is why you should read it. Right. And uh, yeah, no, it's it's been a fantastic process. Je uh, Jeff Roven is uh, my co-writer, and um, we found a really good rhythm working together on it. And um, he is based in New York, and I was based on airplanes mostly when I was writing. Have it. you had good feedback from close friends, family? Uh, yes, we've had really great feedback. Um, somebody yesterday said it was a page turner, which was nice to hear. Excellent. Okay. Very nice. so. so I think that we should see get get a price to make this a movie. Right. Absolutely. Have you been on that? From your lips to, right. to, uh, <laughs> to Chernin's it. ears, maybe. Uh, Who would you cast? Yeah. Who would you cast in it? As, as the you? Yes, yes. <laughs> of course. Hello. Yeah. She's 25. I'm 25. Go for it. <laughs> no, no, she's not. She's my age. Well, I'll check it out. It's, uh, it's out right now. It's A Vision of Fire. Correct. It's the first of three uh -huh. in the series. Mm -hmm. Jillian Anderson, thank you very thank much. You.